What up, YouTube? This is Getty Video back at you with another video. I want to give a double salute to all of my supporters and anyone watching this video right now. And if you're new here, please like, comment, subscribe, and join the Getty Gang. Why don't you let's get to the content? Okay, man, we already know what's going on with the war in Memphis, and it is heating up, man. Yo, Gotti's big brother, Big Juke, was assassinated, ran up on car lacking by three gunmen shortly after his uncle's funeral during the repast and whack 100 reacts to the killing and he's asking where was his security where was his people and why did they let them three gunmen run up on them like that and he also says big juke was moving wrong and yo god he better be careful or he won't make it to see valentine's day it is interesting i'm gonna let y'all get to it shout out to whack 100 this is getty radio let's go Sources close to the family of rapper Yo Gotti confirmed the man killed outside a Hickory Hill event center is Gotti's brother. Memphis police identified him as 47-year-old Anthony Mims, also known as Big Juke. Mims was shot in the parking lot of Pernon's restaurant and event center. Another man who was shot is still alive but in the hospital. Tonight, police are looking for a white Ford Explorer SUV in connection with the shooting. It has dark tinted windows and black wheels. A witness told police they saw suspects in the SUV speeding away and surveillance video also shows this. If you recognize this vehicle or have any information, call Crime Stoppers at 901-528-CASH. I know this. <clears throat> if your guy don't play this smart, he ain't going to make Valentine's Day. Nah, it's going to be dangerous for him, Wack. He better not bite, boy. Yeah, you can't go to performance at on all. the internet. Don't do that. Don't play Hell with them. No. Don't Hell play with them right no. now. They they if definitely what they all there be a bunch of on the internet that's regular point that is saying all kind of shit, and he cannot bite. That'll make you jump out the window. Cause what the niggas ain't gonna do, best believe them feds is already up under all them. He got to niggas don't get it. This nigga, you cannot be the common man when it's a a common problem going on. You just can't be. I'm never going to be what you think I'm going to be. It ain't going to happen. That funeral, I ain't going. You guys got me. Not only that, uh, <clears throat> you made the funeral. You at the repast? For real. The fuck? Man, and whack. he got 10 times and he got at his truck like when he was getting out. That's the the part. So where was his people? They was right there. It was three people that got sh three of them shot. That's what I mean. Like bodies, you got like if you got your gun, man, what you have running up on? They said they let off some rounds. They hit him with the whole drums. clip. They hit yeah. him with the whole clip. One of them. Two, three hundred. Oh, that was a hit. That was definitely a hit. You already know, just the way, just the way it was. That's a hit. That was the setup. The death was the setup. The first, what was the first one? How did the guy die? Did he get the first guy? So who, so when they went to the funeral, was he was he? I don't oh, even know. I don't even know. <laughs> yeah. I just know his name was Eric. That's all I know. We got to see so how he, he died. Was like a reputable person or some shit. If he got two, that was the setup. Boom. I mean, the you know, a nigga, a nigga do something to bring you out. Facts. Niggas know you're never going to know where I'm at. Usually when I pop up, it'd be an oh, shit. <laughs> oh, look at it in the chat. Whack. Look at it in the chat. They said, no, it was uh, their uncle. He died of old age. So that was the set. He died. Cool. We know they're all going to come out. That's their uncle. Somebody knew he was going to be there. Yup. That's a fact. You see, your God, he wasn't there. Nah, they said that he was there. Big C said he but was But not there. at the repass, though. That is a fact, man. Yo Gotti was not at the repass, man. Leaving people to speculate that Yo Gotti may have had knowledge of this, had something to do with this, to get his brother out of the way. I'm not buying it. There's even a rumor out there floating around that Yo Gotti might have been a little upset with his brother for hitting Young Dolph. And in order to get out from under those charges that may be coming down from the feds or to avoid getting snitched on, Yo Gotti got his brother out of the way and set him up at that repast, man. That is ridiculous. That's nonsense. And I'm not buying it. And we're not going to promote that over here on this channel, man. But 
Wag 100 is also reacting to an audio that I'm about to play for y'all, which is Grove Hero, part of PRE, speaking about Big Jilk allegedly putting a $40,000 hit on Young Dolph's head, man. So y'all check this out. When I heard that, that, that little boy Trey Trey say, man, I miss my dad, mom. When I heard that, that f me up, bro. That shit f me up. And keep in mind, I said, if I see Juke, if I see Gotti, if I see, if I see, uh, if I see Migo, if I see Youngstar, I'm going to get on that. This shit ain't got nothing to do with nobody else, bro. I said, if I see them folk, because these folk got some, had something to do with it, bro. These folk, nigga don't know that Juke put a hit out, bro. Nigga don't know this shit. You know what I'm saying? But we, nah, fuck all that, bro. I need to say that. Niggas ain't gonna say that. Nigga ain't gonna, nigga ain't gonna tell the truth, bro. Nigga ain't, nigga ain't say, man, hey, bro, how you gonna feel if a nigga told you, hey, man, look, bro, my just put a 40000 dollars hit on you, bro. Crazy. You know, this was crazy though with that, right? Yep. This was fucked up. A nigga tell a nigga them shit like that it won't even be real. Yep. I didn't have niggas call me. I had a nigga call me before about eight years ago, right? Say what? What I said, bro, I need to holler at you. I said, okay, shit, cool. He said, meet me at the spot. You know, we go always eat at. All right, cool. Pulled up to the spot. Came in there. Ordered some food. We eat. You know what I'm saying? You know? <laughs> he waited the whole hour, two hours. We get back outside. He looking around. He said, Wack, you by yourself? I said, I always come see you by myself. You know that. You talking about why would I be with somebody? He like, man, you know, a nigga told me you put $100 on my, $100,000 on my head. I called you today to see if you was going to change up any of your normal behavior with me. Come to find out, the nigga that told him that was told by another nigga that was mad because my man was in his way. So the nigga that told him wasn't even the one hating on me. He thought he was really doing dude a favor. How you know, unless the nigga that he gave the bag to come tell you that, how you know that he put that out there? Cause a nigga didn't told you? How you know? And the crazy part is you hear his homeboy in the back say, hey, man, you don't need to be saying it. No, no, it need to be said. <laughs> how, how do you know if a nigga putting some money in your hand? Nigga, the only nigga knows the nigga gave the money to. And you still alive. Let's just do the math. You're still alive. But he put, like, how you know? How, how you know it? Did the nigga that did it say it? Nigga just, man, the ghetto's a motherfucker. When that ghetto was, that ghetto was evil, bro. Deceiving. Nigga say shit and just that's what it is how they know first it was black youngster is this dude then it was that dude it was this dude how they know crazy part is they ain't even trying to figure it out they just assuming that's what it is and going and killing something on the other side that's it mm -hmm. this is why i put the post up that i put up to Gotti. got to know when to hold them and know when to fold them but, you know, he, 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 I mean, you know, people like Gotti, but people used to love Big Juke, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you gotta be careful though, man. Them bodies keep dropping. You know how that Look at, first of all, the fans been in that backyard playing for a minute. That's what I'm saying. And every, every last one of them circles got a nigga that been circling. Yup, that's him. Yup, that's him. Yup, that's him. And then sit back, the fans just sit back, and then let it all happen. And then come pick up the pieces. So he got that threat, and he got the threat of the streets. He got both of them. All right, we're going to leave it right there. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this audio, man. Wack 100 reacts to Big Juke getting taken down, man. And he said something real deep right here. He said, listen, you can't move like a common man when common things are going on. And what that means is Big Juke was not a commoner anymore. Big Jip was not a regular person anymore. You're a celebrity, you're a superstar, and you're dibbling and dabbing in street activity. And then you have the unmitigated gall to move around as if you're still a common person. No, when you come into town, it's big news. And if it's big news that you're coming into town, your ops are gonna know you're coming into town and your ops are gonna do whatever they gotta do to get at you. And that's exactly what they did, man. Y'all already saw the news footage. They were so prepared, they took the license plate off of the vehicle, man. That's how prepared they were. They were ready to go in guns are blazing man and like i said and like wack 100 said where is the security 
Where was his people? And why did you let everybody know where you were going to be, man? Listen, I'm going to repeat what I said earlier today in my live, man. I'm just going to be honest, man. If I'm in Big Juke's shoes, if I'm in anybody's shoes that's got real beef out there in the streets, and allegedly I got a 40,000 hit out on a rapper who's famous, and that rapper is now deceased, and it's speculation in the streets that I did it. If I'm coming into town where I did that at, which is my hometown, if I'm coming into town, I'm going to spend a hundred thousand dollars just to make sure i make it back out of town man i'm hiring everybody man helicopters marines it's going to be all kinds of people out there protecting me you're not even going to be able to step foot on the sidewalk or the grass or wherever i am man you're going to think the president is in town when i'm coming in town man i'm shutting highways down i'm shutting the road down you're going to have to have an id to come up in there it's going to be a perimeter set around that's secure and safe for me to get in and for me to get out safely to get back to my family man it's worth spending that bag man and like i said man Big Jug just might have been a little too comfortable, a little too arrogant, let the money get to his head, started feeling like he was untouchable and thinking that them young boys, I don't know how old they were, I'm going to say allegedly young boys ain't going to run up at that repass with guns a blazing, man. Yo Gotti was the smartest person out of the bunch that day. He went to the funeral and he got out of Dodge and word is he was prepared, he was secure, he had a lot of cops, he had a lot of armed security around him when he was there and he dipped without a scratch and came out of that thing unscathed man big juke the older brother should have moved a little better man he was moving wrong he was moving wrong he was moving wrong and now you got pre celebrating the death of big jug and look what's good for the goose is good for the gander man big jug celebrated the death of young Dolph, and everybody else celebrated the death of young Dolph. so it now it's their turn to have a little victory lap because they hit a big piece out of CMG, man. Yo, Gotti's older brother, man, dead, gone, deceased. And this thing ain't gonna do nothing but get worse. There's gonna be more bloodshed. And I promise you this right here, the assailants, the three gunmen that ran up and took Big Juke's life will get caught there will be a trial and i'll be right here to cover it for you man y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section man this has been gated radio i appreciate you being here please like comment subscribe i will catch you guys on the flip side peace